Okay, for my last quick update on the Xbox One PS4 controller tutorial uh, for the PC, what we're gonna finally, what I'm gonna finally be showing you is how to connect both of these controllers wirelessly to your computer. Let's begin. Okay, we're gonna start off with the PS4 controller. And uh, this one's really, really easy. Uh, if your computer has Bluetooth capability, you don't need a uh, special adapter. Uh, if you do need an adapter, they're pretty easy to use. Um, I'm going to show you how to connect the uh, Xbox One adapter. It'll pretty much be the same thing. They're all pretty much the same. It's pretty easy. Okay, what you want to do for the, Xbox, uh, the uh, PS4 controller is uh, to connect it. Uh, you're going to want to go to your Bluetooth settings on your computer. Open those up. Once you have that up, uh, get your PS4 controller. You're going to want to hit your the uh, PS4 con uh, button, the PS4 button, the PlayStation button. Hold it down. Hold down the share button on the top left corner. Hold those both down together, and uh, the light on the top will start flashing. Once that happens, it should pop up on your computer screen. You're going to pick that. Uh, it'll say uh, something about controller, or so, something like that. Uh, you're going to pick it. Uh, once you click it, you're going to hit pair, and it'll pair, and you'll be good to go. It's pretty quick. Um, one thing to be aware of is that uh, for some reason, once uh, you connect the PS4 controller back to the PlayStation, when you go to connect it again to your computer, it does tend to uh, have like a, a mess up. It's still in the settings of the PS4 so you kinda have to uh, go to your Bluetooth settings get rid of it and repair it uh, unless of course you have a PS4 controller dedicated just for the computer then you'll be fine you don't have to do anything but again if you only have one controller you do have to uh, unfortunately keep repairing it okay so moving on to the Xbox One since I actually have the adapter for this one um, what you'll need is an Xbox One controller, given, that's a given, uh, and then you'll also need your Xbox One PC adapter. Okay, and it looks something like, and it looks something like this. that from the box and there you have your Xbox One PC adapter now uh, if you notice right there there's a little uh, light right there and uh, basically once that turns on, uh, you need that to pair it, and uh, once it's been paired, you don't have to pair it ever again. Uh, you simply just connect it and turn your controller on. Turn your controller on, and uh, it'll automatically pair, so you only have to do it once. Uh, but that light basically, uh, it'll blink uh, in order for you to... Uh, know that it's ready to pair and it'll also uh, stay on once it's paired and uh, when it's in use. Okay so alright so we're gonna go and you're gonna get your so you can see the light there better you're gonna wanna get your Xbox controller I mean you're gonna wanna get your Xbox adapter connected to a USB port that's connected to your computer and you'll hear it connecting so there you go and 
Now you'll uh, you'll see that uh, on the side here there's a button that has three little waves. That's the button you're gonna press and hold to get it to uh, connect. So you're gonna connect it. Hold that button. You see it flashing there? It'll flash. Then you'll uh, come here to your Xbox. Turn it on. It will flash. And uh, the Xbox One controller will stop flashing. Then the uh, Xbox One adapter, it will keep flashing for a little bit and then it will finally stop and they'll have been fully connected. So right now they're fully connected. And what I'll do is I'm going to turn it off. And you'll notice that it also turned off immediately on the uh, adapter. So once again, turn it on. The adapter turns on. That's all you have to do. Very simple, and now you can play your games without the cable. Um, so as you can see, very easy, very simple. Um, the PS4 controller is uh, just as easy. Um, I'm going to try and get my hands on one uh, to actually show you with it. Uh, it's very simple though. I mean like I said all you have to do one more time is go to your settings on and I'll have pictures. Uh, all you gotta do is go to your settings on your computer on your PC to the Bluetooth settings uh, PS button, share button, hold them the top light will flash. Once it's flashing you can let go uh, on your computer you'll see it pop up and I'll put a picture up there so it'll show you uh, kind of what the name is and stuff. So it'll show up, and once it shows up, you click it, you hit pair, and you're good to go. Very simple. Again, the only downside is that sometimes it does need to uh, be repaired if you're using it for both the computer and the PlayStation. Um, I personally like the layout of the Xbox One controller. Uh, however, I don't like that Microsoft uh, has a special system for their uh, <clears throat> for their wireless uh, as you because the PS4 all it works with the same Bluetooth so that's uh, I, I like that they do that uh, yeah I'm a little a little disappointed that Xbox you know you have to get a special uh, a special appliance to get it to work so that's disappointing but Anyway, so there you go. Very easy, very simple. Uh, if you have any questions about this video or any of the other videos uh, con uh, talking about the controllers and connecting them to the PC and so forth, uh, please uh, send them to me. Let me know. And uh, for the ending for the ending of this video, I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, there's no lag. It's very good. Uh, the distance. Uh, I've had it where I have my computer and been all the way in my living room, which is pretty far. I mean, it's a pretty good distance, and uh, it still works without lag. So it actually is a very good adapter. Uh, and again, no lag. As soon as you move it, it moves on the computer, so that's, that's a plus. So anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative, and until uh, next time. Okay, so we're going to turn on the Xbox controller, and it should automatically connect to the adapter, as you can see. Perfect. And now we're going to play the game with the controller, no cable. Okay, so we're in the game.